Dear friends, we have already discussed about the nature of sustainable development, the factors affecting sustainable development, the challenges before sustainable development. Today we are going to discuss about the sustainable development goals and targets as have been discussed at international level in the year of 2015. And we will also discuss about the goals of education with specific reference to achievement of sustainable development goals. As you know, sustainable development is linked with the three areas of development, economic, social, and environmental dimensions of life. They are concerned with five P's. These five P's are people, planet, prosperity, peace, and participation. When I talk about people, it affects human being in totality. When we talk about planet, we are talking about the environment. When we talk about prosperity, we are talking about our progress in life. And we are talking about the peaceful living on earth with a futuristic dimension. The peace with a futuristic orientation involves community living, Peace with internal life, peace with our environment, social and physical environment. It requires participation at individual as well as collective level. When I talk about sustainable development areas, we are talking about the collaborative efforts to be made by individuals and at national level, international level, where all the countries of the world will take lead to transform the whole world with the mission to eliminate poverty, hunger, disease, and want. There should be provision for universalization of quality education throughout life with the principle of equity and inclusiveness. We must ensure physical, mental, and social well-being with health and hygiene facilities, with access to self drinking water and sanitation, sufficiency of food, safety and security of people with due emphasis on human rights and human dignity, the role of law, justice, equality, and non-discrimination. When we talk about poverty, we find that it is a major factor which must be eradicated to live sustainably on the earth. Now we are talking about the other dimensions of life when we say that we need physical well-being with proper drinking water and hygiene. We are talking about equality and equality with provision of equity. Equity must take into consideration the human capabilities, human wants and progress. So we must lead a life free from all disease and we must aspire for a healthy life. Dear friends, in 2015 at United Nations level, the Sustainable Development Goals with targets towards 2030 was discussed in detail and there were 17 goals 
and the 16 goals are really the targets to be achieved and 17th goal is supportive in nature. The first goal of sustainable development is to end poverty in all its form everywhere in the world. There should not be any place in the world where people will suffer from hunger and they should live a healthy life with economic soundness and to make use of resources, making use of their own capability. Second is we must end hunger, achieve food security and improve nutrition and promote sustainable agriculture so that the food's requirement should be sufficient enough to meet and to feed each and every human being on the earth. So we must ensure healthy lives and promote well-being of all children and human beings at all ages. The goal four is related to our own field, that is quality education, and to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and to promote lifelong learning and quality education at every stage of life for every human being. And the fifth one is very much linked with the fourth one, that is the equity and abolishing the gender bias and gender discrimination and to achieve the gender equity and empower all girls and women. Sixth goal is to ensure availability and sustainable management of water for healthy life and for a sanitation. Goal seven is to ensure the access to affordable, reliable, sustainable and modern energy for all. Goal eight is to promote sustained, inclusive, and sustainable economic growth. When I say sustainable economic growth, it has a future impact. The economic growth should be futuristic oriented with full productive employment and decent work for all so that the inclusive economic growth will take into account each and every human being's participation in economic development and progress. Ninth is to build resilient infrastructure, promote inclusive and sustainable industrialization and foster innovations. We must be capable enough to face all the disasters and to make us enable to face the challenges of life by making progress and to reduce inequality within and among countries. There should not be the discrimination between developed and developing countries in a sustainable society. The goal 11 is in the context of urban areas and our human settlement must be inclusive so the urban life on cities must promote quality living standards, safe, resilient, and sustainable life. Goal 12 is to ensure sustainable consumption and production patterns. We should be very much careful about our needs, and we should see that how our consumption pattern should not exceed to the extent that the resource will be exhausted. The thirteen goal is to take urgent actions to combat climate change. The climate change occurring because of different factors, particularly in developed countries because of industrialization and over-exploitation of our energy resources and by affluent gases. So that should be taken care of and to see that its impact should be curbed. Goal 14 is to conserve and sustainably use our oceans, our seas, 
our marine resources for sustainable development and maintaining healthy, eco-friendly life. Goal 15 is to protect, restore, promote sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystems, our forests, our living styles, eco-friendly living, and to combat the desertification and halt and reverse land degradation and halt biodiversity loss. The goal 16 is to promote the peaceful and inclusive society for sustainable development and it should provide access to justice with provision of human rights, with the principles of equity and to give justice and make provision for each and every human being to get opportunity for social justice. Goal 17 is the last. It uses the means how to strengthen and implement global partnership for achieving all these 16 goals. Now we'll focus on the agenda for sustainable development goals. We call it as Agenda 21. At international level, the Agenda 21 have been discussed in the context of achieving the sustainable development goals. The first agenda is the rights and obligations of every state, the country, under international law so that we should abide by the mission of sustainable development. The second agenda is the universal declaration of human rights so that each and every human being will have basic rights and the provision should be made for ensuring and protecting human rights through proper judiciary system. The Sustainable Development Goal and Empowerment of People and Eradication of Poverty. Empowering people so that people can identify their abilities and potentials and make use of their potentials in proper way to have employment, to improve their productivity and to be free from the problem of the poverty. And the fourth one is the basic factor which I will discuss in detail after some time on this lesson, that is quality education for all at every stage of life, including lifelong development. Fifth one is the well-being of people, health, hygiene, and safety, and free and clean environment in our living systems. The sixth one is the economic self-sufficiency in terms of our production system and distribution systems. The seventh one talks about the production system. The production system should be sustainable and distribution system should be proper so that the sustainable consumption will take place and we should power our grid and we should emphasize on satisfying our basic needs of each and every individual. The next point is the migration and economic growth, as we have discussed, that because of organizations, because of employment issues, people migrate from rural area to city, and people migrate from one country to another country, and there are different problems coming on the way of imbalance of economic growth in geographic distributions. So how to take care of this issue? The next point is the climate change and global response. The climate change is mainly depending on over exploitations of our natural resources and exhausting our energy systems and creating pollutants so that we are facing Year by year, the Earth's temperature is increasing. Now, if you say 
that how we should plan our cities and urban areas so that sustainable and quality living will take place. And the way we have been moving towards urbanization, it is taking the entire resource system to concentrate on urban life by neglecting peoples and inhabitants of rural areas. The next point here is that in 21 agenda is to peace and harmony. The peace at individual level, peace at community level, peace at country level, peace at international level. And it must be linked with global citizenship so that we lead healthy life and we will share the responsibility. In this context, we must have leadership and sportsmanship. Now we are talking about inclusion. And inclusion as the major agenda of sustainable goal. The inclusive and equity for availing quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all is emphasized in Sustainable Development Goal 4. So we are now, out of all these goals, we will mainly focus on achieving the goal of quality education for all since it is our own area of specializations. So in this regard, if you see the goal of Sustainable Development Goal for Education, it talks about ensure that all girls and boys complete free, equitable, and quality primary and secondary education, leading to relevant and effective learning outcomes. We should ensure that all girls and boys have access to quality early childhood development, which in the new education policy we have incorporated as preparatory education. So pre-primary education so that they are ready for primary education and schooling. We must ensure equal access for all women and men to affordable and quality technical, vocational and professional education at tertiary stage, at higher education stage, including the universities and colleges. The fourth one is linked with Lifelong education to increase the number of youth and adults who have relevant skills, including technical and vocational skills, for employment and having opportunities for continuing education to improve and modify our skills according to the job requirements and to avail the opportunities for economic development and entrepreneurship. So in this regard, when we talk about quality education, we must say that the equity concept should be incorporated in education, particularly eliminating the gender disparities in education and to ensure access and quality education at all levels of education, irrespective of differences in the gender background of children. We must ensure that all youth and substantial proportion of adults, men and women, we must have functional literacy, literacy with life skills and competencies, and to lead a happy and quality life. So we must ensure all learners to acquire and to produce knowledge. All learners should develop the skills to promote sustainable development, including, among others, through education and sustainable development. So that should be following means to be adopted for ensuring quality education. The main thing to build and upgrade education facility, the child, disability, and it must be gender sensitive. We must provide safe, non-violent, inclusive, and healthy learning atmosphere so that every learner get access to quality learning atmosphere and quality learning inputs. We must have the scholarships to brilliant students. We must encourage 
the developing countries to participate in quality education drive. Now, when I talk about sustainable development goals and education, we must highlight that how sustainable development is linked with quality education and how quality education influences sustainable development. So it is a two-way relationship between sustainable development and quality education. So we have focused on one approach that is considering education as a means for achieving all the goals of sustainable development. So here sustainability is understood as a goal of education. And formal education, the curricular practices, they must lead to achieve the goals of sustainable development on all the areas as have been highlighted by the UNESCO for achieving the sustainable goal development goals in 16 areas. It talks about that education must embrace the form of transformative and reflexive learning practices which will empower every child and human being so that he will be capable enough to achieve the sustainable development goals. As we know, the social, economic and environmental system is very much ingrained in education system at local, national and global level. So in this regard, the quality education must be used as a means of sustainable development. The other side is, in sustainable development, quality education is also understood as one of the goals. From this perspective, if you see, the quality of life and quality of education must be the major focus of sustainability. So here, quality education is to be understood as an index of sustainable development, as has been reflected in the principles of learning. The Dallas Commission report 1996 stated that there should be continuous process of forming whole human beings, their knowledge and aptitude, as well as the critical faculty, the ability to act. So that is learning to be. Education and sustainable human development are the major goals of a civilized society. So, the unfoldment of the inner potentials of every child through proper opportunities of learning in a civilized society should be considered as prime indicator of sustainability. So, in this regard, we should see that education should be integrated with sustainable development. So quality education is one of the prime focus of sustainable development. So we as teacher educators and teachers, and we should consider education as a subsystem of social system, the economic social dimensions of development and environmental prosperity with technology interventions must be reflected in the nature and process of quality learning and education. So quality education must play a vital role in influencing the other areas of sustainable development goals while being influenced by other goals of sustainable development. So in this regard, we should highlight the transformation of educational agency in formal, non-formal, and informal sectors. We must emphasize on quality education through quality inputs and quality processes, reflecting on 
the efficiency and effectiveness of educational inputs, process, and assessment procedures. So quality education role in achievement of sustainable development goals like eradication of poverty, health, hygiene, and cleanliness, and healthy living, promoting values of equity and equality in our social life, developing awareness of environment and development of environmental ethics, influencing our behavior to protect and conserve environment, management of natural resources in eco-friendly living styles, development of vocational and professional competencies, and management of infrastructure so that we will go for a healthy lifestyles and balancing the production and consumption system through proper economic infrastructure and distribution systems. Now we are talking about how sustainable development should be integrated with the nature of education. So quality education is conceptualized in the context of principles of sustainable development. What are these principles? These principles are equity. These principles are future awareness. These principles are quality of life. The principles are inclusive system. The principles are participation. So internal education reforms are activated, highlighting transformative nature of learning. So the parameters of quality education and learning performance are linked with competencies of sustainable development. So integration of education with sustainable development must focus on the formal, lifelong learning and continuing education for professional development of people, community-based social learning, focusing on all the areas of sustainable development. Different initiatives in education for sustainable development need to be placed in a very integrated framework. So we are talking about multidisciplinary curricular practices and multidisciplinary transdisciplinary curriculum in school systems. So education and social learning must focus on all the areas of sustainable development goals by creating conducive atmosphere for learning through collaborations and cooperations. At international level, different initiatives have been made for integration of sustainable development in education. In 1992, the United Nations Conference on Environment, it highlighted on that. The World Summit on Sustainable Development held at Johannesburg during December 2002, it focused on particularly the environment conservations and environment friendly education and particularly highlighting the quality of life and education. The summit adopted a resolution so that the United Nations Decade for Education for Sustainable Development that starts from 2015, DSED. During 2012, the United Nations Conference on Sustainable Development resolved to promote education for sustainable development and to integrate sustainable development more actively into education beyond the United Nations Decade of Education of 2015. Now, when you talk about NEP 2020 in India, that is for education for all and equitable and inclusive education has been considered as the core principles of new education policy 2020 in India. It talks about flexibility in learning, multidisciplinarity, creativity, and critical thinking, ethics, and human and constitutional values and life skills. It gives emphasis on education to be considered as a public service, and it is the responsibility of the welfare state to make provisions for quality education for all. The access to quality education must be considered as a fundamental right for every citizen. So in this regard, we should make ventures with a futuristic oriented sustainable life with universal access to education at all levels. In this context, 
we must emphasize on multilingual instructions, emphasizing on pluralistic nature of Indian society and culture. We must emphasize on equitable and inclusive education in the school system. So, the curricular integration of subject mastery must be linked with mastery of skills. Hence, proper balance should be given on the skill-based learning with concept learning. So, in this regard, we must emphasize on teacher development, that is, for development of professional competencies of teachers and teacher educators with due respect to the teachers and students, the schools, the curriculum development and transaction, teaching, learning and evaluation systems with emphasis on school community interface and relationship with a broad social context. So teacher development is to be determined by the needs and expectations of school system with a futuristic orientation. The school environment and management should emphasize on sustainable learning system and inclusiveness in learning environment and learning opportunities for all children. So continuous professional development of teachers must be incorporated in teacher development programs, the pre-service and in-service education programs should be an integral part of teacher development. So in this context, the integration of education, particularly integration of teacher education with sustainable development must be highlighted with the values of education for sustainable development. Thank you very much, dear friends. We will now focus on education for sustainable development and education for sustainable development in the context of teacher education in the next modules. Thank you very much.